Yo, yo, what's up? Side 5 Gaming here. GBO2 update number 39. Here we go. Yeah, so super cool. That video looks very similar to the Dwajas. Uh, video. So this is the Dom High Speed Experimental type. We have level 1 and 2 in the game starting at 350 for the level 1. Another Raider Dom similar to the Dwaj. 14,500 health, 1998 for the resistances so you got to buff up that anti-melee a little bit. Uh, don't even worry about the range output but that mod, uh, the, the uh, melee mod is at 33 and then of course high speed at 145 for the movement speed and then 65 for the thrusters. Looking at the skills, uh, pretty much pretty standard stuff, you know, uh, maneuver armor, high performance balancer, the new leg buffer, but take a look down there, a forced injector level two that consumes less boost as you use forced injector, very cool. Uh, weaponry is pretty, uh, it's actually pretty classic. <laughs> Giant bazooka and MMP-80 grenade launcher. For his firearms and then coming over to the the melee weapon is going to be the heat lance um, it is only a single swing you know but it does knock down people on every hit uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i believe you know on the neutral heat swing it'll knock somebody down uh, obviously on the knockdown and then for the side swings if whatever it contacts it's going to knock them down uh, it also has that you know the stunning flash the flashbang thing in its chest as well um, looking at the part slots, uh, obviously going to be a lot of speed and melee, uh, you know, slots in there uh, or buffs, you know, so you can add those parts. Not so much on the long range and the medium range. <laughs> Boom! All right, now what? Yeah, level three pixie in the house, 500 cost pixie in the game now. Um, hopefully it's like uh, the BD1. I think the BD1 really shines in 450 in its level 3. So maybe the Pixie just needed its level 3 to to really find its way. I uh, don't really think so. But I don't know. Let me know, guys. What do you think? Um, I, I know that there's some people out there that use the Pixie a lot. So let me know what you know, or what you know and what you think about it. Um, obviously that brings along the level 3 version of the double beam daggers with 2420 and then a level 3 version of the ridiculously nerfed 90 millimeter super low range submachine guns, the Uzis, if you will. Um, I usually just end up using the, the bullpup, but whatever. Cool looking banner. Again, as you see him slicing the uh, cannons off that, that, that gun tank and cutting that poor MPGC in half. Um, nothing new with that really just the the improved rates uh, cool to see the Zigok E level 1 and the just murderous Zaku 1 commander level 1 in the DP shop so everybody's definitely going to be picking up the claw uh, and you know if you don't buy the Zaku 1 commander uh, I don't know what to tell you that thing is absolute beast mode both those suits are really um, I was really surprised to only see the level 2 shotgun and the level 2 you know cold boy machine gun I really need to see that level 3 you know in the DP shop it's already been in the RT store uh, come on I'm just waiting for that new shield part out there yeah so shield reinforcement level 5 is in the game now takes up the exact same amount of slots as that last new frame uh, uh, slot was or the, the new frame part that added 800 health so I'm not sure I think I would still just take you know take the health for the same amount of uh, medium range part slots cool looking new decals though um, really interesting multicolor the, uh, the what is that blue zone the, the 13 on there it looks really cartoony but kind of cool and then the other one was the bounty hunter uh, logo it looks kind of like it says noob with the way his helmet is with the spikes on it and stuff but that's, that's I think these are really cool uh, two, two new decals let me know uh, what franchise or what, what series those are from uh, let's see 60 tickets for each either one of those two new decals um, so yeah we've been getting you know, just a consistent run I re still really like that red torrenting one uh, those new decals, consistent run of interesting new decals coming out all the time, just very very cool. And I don't I don't know how, how do you what do you feel about spending sixty tickets 
on a decal? Do you think it's too much? Mm, let me know. New camouflages. These look really cool, actually. They're bark print camouflage, as as they call them. I remember seeing these in like uh, Metal Gear Online back in the day. But when you see them on a mobile suit, it actually just kind of looks like uh, like wrinkly, dry elephant skin or rhinoceros skin or something. Really, really interesting on there. So I might actually pick up the urban one, the, those dark grays. But that's going to do it, guys. A little short episode here for you. Um, for GBO2 update number 39. Thanks for checking it out. Sorry it was a little late again. Um, you know, my new schedule is uh, playing hell with this stuff, but I'm going to try and keep up with it as much as I can, and I will see you out there. Thank you. Bye-bye.